What is modified wheat starch? Modified wheat starch is simply wheat starch that has been modified for specific uses. Wheat, corn, and any other cereal starch can be modified in the following ways. Enzymatically. Physically. Chemically. Objectives of starch modification include Increase versatility of starch to be used in multiple applications. Impart enhanced properties compared with their native precursors. Diminish detrimental characteristics of starch. What's the origin of wheat starch? Wheat was the most popular and widespread starch for many years due to the abundance of the grain. As cultivation of potatoes and maize grew during the 18th century, they became common sources of starch as well. As processed and packaged foods gained popularity, the need for creating specific attributes from the carbohydrate emerged. Modification processes developed very quickly and FDA regulations evolved to assess the types of modifications allowed for food use. How can it be used? Various starch modification approaches resulted in new starches that can impart some of the following benefits to food products. Thickening, viscosity building, of liquid foods at room or cold temperatures. Superior freeze-thaw stability. Polymeric structure formation in gluten-free baked goods. Gelling ability at lower temperatures. Adhesion. Superior moisture control. Shelf life extension, anti-staling. Encapsulation of volatile aromas and flavors added to food products. Modified wheat starch can be used in infinite products, such as batters, yeast leavened doughs, breakfast cereals, toppings, soups, sauces, pudding type products, icings, pie fillings, whipped cream, jellies, meringues, foam type cakes. Here is how it's produced. Modified wheat starch is produced from wheat flour according to the following steps. First, wheat and water are combined in the dough mixing stage. Then, comes the gluten agglomeration phase. That is followed by the starch separation and washing stage. Next comes starch concentration and after that is the drying stage which results in wheat and the beginning of the modification phase. Here are some ways to use it. The chemical modification of wheat starch involves the treatment of starch granules with small amounts of food grade chemical reagents. Like any other reaction process, agitation, temperature, pH, and reaction time become essential during the modification step. Depolymerization with acids, or acid-thin starch. Starch in granular form is soaked in acid to reduce gelatinization temperature, improve clarity of gel, reduce the tendency of gel to retrograde after cooling, reduce hot paste viscosity, and modify gel strength. Acid addition to starch causes a partial yet highly controlled hydrolysis which reduces polymer size of the polysaccharide, thus producing new reducing ends. Stabilization. Stabilized starches are substituted with new side groups as replacers of hydroxyl groups. The substituents can be ethers, like hydroxypropyl or hydroxymethyl, or esters, like octanyl succinic anhydride, acetate, or phosphate, and are added to granular starch. Stabilized starch properties are modulated by the exact nature of the substituting group, charged, polar, or uncharged, hydrophobic, nonpolar, and whether it is ether or ester bonded. Once inserted into a starch granule, substituents prevent the same close packing of starch molecules. As a consequence, free water is better able to hydrate the granule, and so gelatinization temperature is decreased. During starch gel cooling, the substituents restrict the interchain associations of retrogradation. This confers improved freeze-thaw stability and a reduced tendency for scenarysis. Chemically modified starch exhibits excellent encapsulating, fat replacer and emulsifying properties. Also, chemically modified starch is a slowly digestible starch SDS, with a low glycemic response. Cross-linking Cross-linking in granular starches is achieved by reacting hydroxyl groups with D-functional reagents, example, sodium trimetaphosphate, that lead to cross-links such as D-starch phosphate esters and D-starch adipate, using adipic acid anhydride. Hydroxyl. 
Cross-linking reinforces the granule structure and makes starch granules more resistant to extreme temperatures, for example canning or retorting, high shear, and highly acidic food systems. Thermal treatments include Pre-gelatinization, pre-cooked, instant starches Granular cold water swelling starch Heat slash moisture and mechanical shearing treatment, HMT Annealing Dry starch heating Whereas non-thermal treatments include Intensive ball milling Ultrasonication High pressure treatment Pulse electric field Enzymatic modification of wheat starch Hydrolysis or enzymatic liquefaction, using different amylases Dextrinization and saccharification for fructose and glucose syrup production Cyclodextrinization Want to learn more about modified wheat starch and how it's regulated? Visit Bakerpedia. Learn more about all things baking by signing up for our newsletter. Until next time, bakers. At Bakerpedia, we're here on a need-to-know basis.